If you're looking to set up a brand new Facebook business page, or maybe even to give your current one a refresh, then this is the video for you. Because I'm going to show you some of the key elements that you have to include that will actually stop people scrolling past and draw them to your page. And all of that is coming up right now. So here we are on my Facebook page, and this video is all about how to correctly set up and optimize your Facebook page in 2024. So it stops the scroll, it stands out, and it gives you your best chance to actually start dominating your industry and niche here on Facebook. And even if you have set up a Facebook business page, this video is still gonna be relevant because I'm gonna cover all of the key elements that we may want to make sure that we've actually included in our page. So starting from scratch, when you're wanting to set up a Facebook business page, it all starts from your own Facebook profile. That's right, here on Facebook, and this is my Facebook profile. Most of it is hidden and you won't be able to see too much about my own personal life. But everything on Facebook starts with your own Facebook Facebook profile. Once you've actually set up a profile, you then can go down the path of creating um, Facebook business pages and groups and things like that. So once you're logged into your profile, here at the top right hand corner, the icon, I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on see profiles. And what it's then going to show me, it's then going to show me some of the other Facebook business pages that I currently have. This is my main one here, Mark Warren can social media selling one, two, three. These are just a couple of test ones and ones that I no longer use. But you want to now click on here, create a new profile or a page. Now, Facebook do allow you to have a second profile. I'm not gonna go down that path. I already have videos on that. But creating a new page, we're going to click here and then it's going to bring us up this option. Creating a profile we don't want. We wanna tick this box. We want to create a public page. So let's do that and click next. Now it becomes quite simple and intuitive. Facebook have improved this process over the few years. I actually haven't set up a Facebook page for a couple of years, so I'm gonna be learning how to do it the new modern way in 2024. Um, but create a page, some information there, some of the benefits, but let's click get started, which then brings us to this page. So. We're going to now start with typing in our page name. I'm going to go with marketing strategies for business people. Now it's going to um, ask us then to select a category. Um, you're going to have to be a little bit flexible with this because um, it's not going to bring up one of their pre-populated categories, but um, internet marketing services, I'm going to go with that. Um, and it will give you the green tick if that's available. Some information on your bio, you wanna populate this initially, and then you can go back and really optimize it. So let's populate this with the, the bare basic information to get started. Copy and paste, venturing into the world of online marketing with all the tips and infos to get started. So far, Facebook seemed to have liked all of this. Let's click create page. And then it's gonna bring you to the very basic information, website, email, phone numbers, that type of thing. Let's click on next. Then it's gonna ask you to upload a profile image and then a cover image, the cover image being the real big one. We can do that um, a little bit later. We can add an action button as well, but let's just click on next, asking you to connect to WhatsApp. We don't wanna do that. Let's click, click skip invite friends let's click next and some basic behind the scenes information page notifications are on that type of thing all these type of things we can change and um, a later date as well but let's just click done and it says welcome to your new page do you want to take a tour let's click not now and this becomes the base and the template for our facebook business page and then from here we can now start optimizing it for success so it really stands out and stops the scroll helps promote your business um, helps make sales helps you know turn you into a online superstar maybe as well so now we need to optimize our page now i'm going to do this in a different way i'm going to do it in two ways um, firstly i'll show you some of the tabs for you to quickly and easily um, tick uh, click on and, and do it yourself but i'm also then going to refer to some really good eye-catching facebook business pages that i've come across so we can use them for information or inspiration and some ideas and some of the best practices that they're using and we can model on our page but very quickly what you're going to do is you want to click on the about page here you then get all of these links to activate, all pretty straightforward. Um, over here on the left-hand side as well, um, to um, edit your profile, 
photo, your cover image, that type of thing. Customize your intros. There's various other edits here as well, straightforward. You then also want to go over here to the left. You want to click on settings because there's some more information here behind the scenes. We have your page name here, but you then want to set up and secure your username. Um, the username becomes www.facebook forward slash that becomes your page name. Um, many many pages in the world can have this page name, the same name, but only one page then gets a username that's uh, unique. So you might have to be a bit a little bit creative there. If you want to click on privacy and run through some information there, tagging that type of thing. So they're the pages that you want to click on. And then from that, you're well on to way to setting up and optimizing a really eye-catching Facebook business page. So let me show you some of those reference pages that we can take inspiration and ideas from as well. So the first Facebook business page I want to highlight that we can take inspiration from is this Aussie bottled fruit juice company called Nudie. Now, first up, they've got a great name that we can all have some fun with, but all their imagery and branding is very cartoonish, very bright. They're always using the pink and the um, and the yellow and the oranges and the greens, you know, fruit colours, but they're always, you know, fun and friendly with it. But they also include photos of their bottles, of their juices. So if you're a food or a product, Product, always include images as often as possible because people will start to recognize your brand even more. And as you scroll through your page, some of their Instagram, oh, sorry, Facebook reels and videos are very simple, very popular in the world we live in. This one's all about highlighting when they say Aussie farmers, we only use Aussie oranges. And this is a simple post of, you know, a farmer dancing with delight because Nudie are using possibly his oranges. As we scroll down to this other post, um, something again, fun and light and friendly, which is the brand is all about about parent teacher night hashtag parent truth let's sh uh, share the blame i think that's funny and most parents would think that's as funny as well equally real with a kid making some fruit juice and you know in the blooper reel that type of thing so many of us around the world have done something like that leave the juice to us see how they've had some fun with this particular reel Scrolling down this particular one, Mum Friendly Mockdale. So very good imagery over here. So some inspiration from that. If you're a product or service or food, especially food really pops on Facebook, make sure your, 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 your photos and your images all pop. So the next Facebook page I want to highlight, and I've used this in my training over the years to highlight to some of my students. I want to thank HubSpot for this blog post. And it's a Facebook page called Glamnetic. Now, their business logo here, I'm quite sure people will start recognizing over time. Again, a fantastic cover image here. But what I love is the wording on the cover image. Um, the image will stop the scroll, Glamnetic, the world's first six magnetic lash. Now, I'm not quite familiar or quite aware of what that actually means, but I'm quite sure females do. But this is their big, um, bold benefit statement, their big, bold promise, and they're hitting everyone in the in the face with it when everyone, um, you know, lands on their business page straight away, left in no doubt who they are and what they do. Maybe this was something new as well. So if you have a big, bold promise, Make sure you include it on your Facebook page and across all of your social socials so people stop the scroll and actually pay attention. And if we have a look at their current Facebook page, they've still got the business logo, but they update their imagery, that type of thing. And if you would scroll through their page, some videos, um, you know, again, very visual post, that type of thing. So setting up your page is very important with all of your information like they've done there, but pinning to the top of your Facebook page and having current relevant um, your best, you know, your best videos or best posts as well is going to, you know, help people stay um, stay on your page longer instead of just scrolling on and then clicking off. So the next one I want to highlight comes from the same blog post and it's Easy Lunch Boxes. So the Facebook page and their cover image lets us know exactly who they are, what they do and how they help within one second. Their profile image over here as well. Very visual. We're left in no doubt literally instantaneously who they are, what they do by their business name or Facebook page name, sorry, and their imagery. Let's have a look what they're currently doing on a their current live Facebook page. And on their current Facebook page, I think they stand out even more with their imagery um, and this particular banner image photo. And as you scroll through your page, the inspiration they're giving mums and dads for kids, um, school lunch boxes, and I suppose for our own, you know, work lunch boxes, that type of thing. 
you know, we don't need to tell people, just show them an image. And this particular one, people will say, hey, I like that one, inspiration. I'm going to like this page. I'm going to follow this page. Um, 268,000 followers to get my daily, my weekly inspiration for easy lunch boxes, maybe for the kids at school or maybe for ourselves on any day of the week. Now, the next one is the international brand GoPro. Okay, they've got 10 million followers and you might be thinking, Mark, this is not fair. They've got resources and whatever. Exactly, they do. And that's why their Facebook page and all of their socials look fantastic because they do have resources. And we want to take inspiration from what they've done. Their logo, people would remember it. But look how visual their cover image. So if you've got a product, you know, it's so important these days to take the best possible image. Now, and you can be doing that just from your mobile phone cameras these days. Now, they've probably gone to, you know, the um, you know, using professional photography on this one, as you would be expecting, but literally stops the scroll. Hang on, what's this new GoPro? They've activated the featured section here at the top of their page as well. So we don't have to get too far down. They've activated the feature section that we can scroll there, very visual. And as you would imagine, because of the product and who they are and what they do, you know, they can engage with us, you know, with very visual photograph these days um, and all the action shots and videos that go along with it. But maybe take some inspiration from GoPro if you can find some similarities or alignment with your business. And this was a new page that I came across recently called Partake Foods. I wasn't aware of them. Love their business logo. Look how visual their banner image is as well. People would start to recognize, you know, this particular producting and packaging, um, you know, the as they start following them here on Facebook. But I love their intro. Super delicious, real and healthy um, free of the top eight allergens made for kids. Millions of people, tens of millions, hundreds of people, hundreds of millions of people around the world affected by food allergens. But hey, they've got a great unique statement, free of the top eight allergens. I'm quite sure that they changed this banner image, cover image here um, throughout the year many, many times to, to really nail their big, bold promise. Um, the featured section again, They've activated that. One of them is a video as well. And as you could imagine, you know, with a, with a, with a food company, look at their imaging. I think you can start scrolling and, and, and you would start spotting their imagery and packaging straight away. Um, classic craving, modern minis, that type of things, pancakes, all of that. Very visual, stop the scrolls, their photos over here, but take some inspiration. Now, you may not be in the food industry. Um, you may not be, you know, you might be thinking, Mark, you know, we're industrial, but what can you do, you know, based around your particular products um, and or services, you know, with some imagery that stops the scroll and gets people engaged. Now, another page from a blog post, this time from Databox, they're highlighting the Disney Plus page. Now, there's one element here that I want to um, show people for inspiration. See how they've got four, 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 uh, one, two, three, four, five, five very eye-catching images that'll stop the scroll. These are Disney characters, people uh, who are interested in, in the Disney brand and, 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 and their um, videos and movies and that type of thing are probably aware of them. But see how simple it can be. What can you do for, in your business, your industry, your niche with your products or services or, or, or faces of your business, take some inspiration from um, this particular page um, and see what you can replicate for your business. Now, changing and updating and, and, and your Facebook page is, is, is something we should all be looking to do at least a couple of times a year. It's really easy to get these imageries using um, software, especially with a tool um, like Canva. But hey, take, take some inspiration from the Disney Plus page. And the last one I want to show and highlight is this page, Magic Spoon Cereal. Now, I know it's probably not fair to be comparing, um, you know, global brands and, and food and fashion and things like that because, you know, they do have a bit of an edge over most of us because, you know, their product is all about imagery and they can come up with some really good photos. But love what Magic Spoon have done with their business logo. Look how powerful this colour is. Um, uh, colourful banner image is, you scroll down and again, straight to this, how about this, their post, new treats are your favourites, you know, the imagery is fantastic, the photos over here on the left, um, stock up with your kitchen shelves for our newest treats, um, you know, they've been, it's, I love this particular one here, um, you know, some Instagram reel, or sorry, Facebook reels, we're on here, but this is how simple it is, it can be posting on across all of your socials, 
you know, this is possibly filmed from just a mobile phone. Look at it. It goes for what? Probably five or six seconds. It runs on loop, that type of thing. This is the content. These are the inspiration. These are the ideas we take. We can take from big brands who have resources and who are doing it on a daily basis. For any business out there, grabbing your phone, recording a simple reel like this and posting it on Facebook and Insta and across all of your socials, it can be that easy. Um, anything else that's grabbing my eyes, just more great visuals. So there you go. Hopefully you found this video informative, helpful and even entertaining. Um, if you're watching this on my Facebook page, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like. Maybe even leave me a comment as well. I always enjoy getting the feedback, whether it be good, bad or indifferent, because we're always learning. And this is how we all improve by um, getting feedback and that type of thing. So follow me here on my Facebook page or if you're watching it on my YouTube channel, you know the drill there. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my content. Again, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world.